senior civil servants that are sort of spending time on their pelotons at lunchtime, which they never normally have before. And, and, you know, do your duty. You must get back to the office. How do you respond to that? I was always critical of what I called peloton politics. Um, (laughs) I don't have one. (laughs) Yeah, no, I don't have one either. I mean, look, I think that um, there's been a lot of what Gemma Dale, the HR guru, calls flex shaming. Mm. And I certainly think that there is a lot of investment psychologically, politically, and goodness knows commercially in a status quo, the status quo being not necessarily the nine to five, but work being office work, being engineered around bricks and mortar offices Mm. and palaces of presenteeism, if you like. You know, you saw a great uptick in offices being used as a symbol of um, power, really, of commercial Mm. power and central business districts and so on. And the truth is, it doesn't really matter why, what matters is that that era is drawing and has drawn to a close and the pandemic probably triggered it. I mean, Kathy Hochul, the governor of New York, announced just this week that she thought the pandemic had killed the five-day week. Mm. And one should always pay attention to Americans. Americans are usually ahead. Mm. Americans see it first. Mm. 